Hello everybody feel warmly welcome to use utility. Today we are going to see how to play Star Trek Fleet Command on your PC, from now you are watching it on your screen. It takes almost no time to easily download and set up Star Trek Fleet Command and play the game on a Windows computer with keyboard, mouse and big screen. So without further ado, let's get to it. First of all my friends, to start we have to open our main web browser. We have here the one we use by default. Let's go to the current URL I'm highlighting in green. Now, you can see on the PC screen. There is no need to type this URL, because there's the clickable link in the video description and as well in the first main comment. We landed at this point on the website of Usatility, where we find here a detailed description on the way to obtain Star Trek Fleet Command on PC. We scroll lower a little bit and click on the Download Game on PC button. Once clicking on this link, we arrive here on the website of LD Player. No panic, it is simply the Android emulator that we will use to enjoy the game Star Trek Fleet Command on the PC. It is now obvious that we have a number of pros of preferring using that emulator, custom controls, multiple instances, instance synchronization, macros, scripts, high FPS, and so on. Now we are ready to start downloading the Star Trek Fleet Command by clicking on the button Download Star Trek Fleet Command on PC that I have marked in green. We then click on that button. And the download step takes no time at all. Here it is, this is the download. It's a file to execute. The following step is to run the installer, OK, so we click on the file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to allow modifications to the device. We have clicked yes. I minimize the internet browser to find the installer better. The installer is uncomplicated. It contains two possibilities, install, and setup path. I am going to talk about what setup path does. We simply simply click on it. So we realize that we have now here the path in which the emulator can be installed. If we have to change this directory we have to click on this browse button, and we decide on another folder and install the emulator wherever we would like. I will leave it as it is. I simply click on back. So I just click install. Right now, before you start installing the emulator, it is possible that it's going to show us one or more application deals to install on our desktop. Because I do not want any of those computer software, I merely click many times on the reject option. Voila! The setup begins and it will commence with the download of all these megabytes that are represented on this screen. When you save it on your machine, it is likely to be more or less MB. The data transfer speed could go faster or at a lower speed, determined by your type of access to the web and depending on the velocity of the emulator servers. Today they are going very fast. The download is completed, so at present it proceeds with the setup phase. The installation will take a little bit more or less time based on the power of your PC, the more efficient it's actually, the faster the installation time and or vice versa. If we merge the download and install phase it usually takes a considerably long time, so show patience. It has already finished for me. At this moment, the emulator happens to be started automatically. As you can observe, at the bottom of the screen, there's a progress bar that will fill up and once it has reached the end, the emulator will be started for the very first time. The fact is the emulator is already started, here it is for the very first time. Plus LD Store is by default started, which is a kind of Google Play. That isn't the most correct way to set up the video game, so I do not recommend it, merely because frequently the LD Store puts an outdated version of the Android game. I'll reveal to you how you can set up the video game though using Google Play and therefore I recommend you to do it this way. The first thing we need to accomplish is to go to the desktop by pressing this icon that I am indicating in green color. Before we carry on, as can be seen, it has made two app icons here on the PC desktop. The LD Player and LD Multiplayer. Note that the LD Player icon is definitely the one we are interested in. The moment we desire to run Star Trek Fleet Command on the PC, we twice click on this specific software icon and as a result start the emulator. The LD multiplayer icon has nothing to do with multiplayer or nearly anything like that, in fact, it's an app icon that we will probably never ever work with. Why don't we make the following step, which is a must have, and that is to begin to browse the Google Play Store. To do that we will go there to, System Apps, we click. And we'll mouse click on Play Store. As you can see now the Google Play is started. Right here we have to sign in. At this time the moment we're here, we must absolutely do the next step that is definitely compulsory. So that we click on, Sign In. At this moment it shows, checking info. It could sometimes get stopped at checking info, and it does not move forward. If that's the case, you should attempt to log in in after a number of hours and it will probably be fixed. At this moment we can insert our email and password. The email address must be a Gmail email as well as its matching password. For example you can use the same exact email address you're using right now in your own YouTube account. Therefore I will insert my info and I'll return when I have done it. That's it, information typed in. Here is Google welcoming us and offering us the terms of service. We must approve all of them by clicking on, I agree. Following, it make us possible to save to the Google Cloud. You can keep it checked and it will create a backup of your files on this device to Google Drive. I am not going to select it, you do what you want. 
We click on Accept. The Google Play is started by default and automatically. However, if the Google Play is not presented automatically and you do not know how to start it yourself, I explain to you how to do it. The first thing is to proceed to the emulator desktop by clicking this software icon marked in green color. At present we head to the System Apps folder. And we click on the Play Store icon. Alright, we are right here inside Google Play. What we intend to do right now is go here to search for apps and games. So we are going to do a search for Star Trek Fleet Command. So there we have it, we must click on the first result. There we come with the game app. So let's just click here on the install button that I'm showing now in green color. And this will launch the software installation. Now it will download on your laptop or computer and install the game, it could take a little while or it could be amazingly quickly. It again all will depend on on the web connection. It's actually completed setting up. Now, let's go to the emulator desktop by clicking this particular button I'm highlighting in green, if you want to launch Star Trek Fleet Command for the first time. We're now on the emulator desktop, and therefore we are going to click this new Star Trek Fleet Command software icon which has been generated. This Android game is started for the first time. Here we have it, I am able to click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I should discuss the volume level of the emulator. This is here, we use the icon of higher volume and the icon of lower volume, this way we are not going to count on the Windows volume to increase or decrease the audio of your emulator. And to take pleasure in the experience to the maximum, we can activate the big screen, for which we have two options. This is actually the first one, we click on that icon that I'm identifying in green color. And the monitor is maximized, coming with one border at the top, one at the right and the last one at the bottom. Assuming that we choose to launch the app in full screen, we mouse click on this software icon. And we'd at present be enjoying the gameplay in full screen function. To exit the full screen functionality, click the F11 key. And then we would certainly at present be in standard screen mode. At present, I am on the way to clarify you the keys mapping which is certainly very helpful. This way we definitely will be in a position to make use of the game more effortlessly. The very first task is to click on this app icon. And here you will have the ability to get the necessary setups. I am going to leave the default settings, however if you want to change this, you may well do so without having problem. I consider this time to say that once in a while, when starting the game application a black screen appears, if this is so and you discover the black screen and the emulator is unable to initiate, I suggest a feasible alternative. We would hop on over, to the cogwheel. Within the emulator preferences, in the advanced choice we have a handful of image resolutions. The following is the resolution that we have previously decided to go with as favorite choice therefore we should select any of these other resolutions, for instance that one below. We choose it and next click save. It will probably ask us to restart the emulator and immediately after rebooted, probably the emulator will start and the black display screen will cease to exist. Perhaps you have realized, the emulator is fully in our own language. Once in a while it happens that the emulator is presented in the wrong language, for example, in Japanese. And therefore to place it in the proper language we click here to the cogwheel. Then there inside of other configuration settings, we click on the language drop down. We are able to choose the language we want, Italian, Japanese, etc. Once the language is determined, we are going to save, the emulator would reboot, along with the game app, the next time we start it, will of course be in the chosen language. At present, you will find another element that we must take into account, and this is that we will receive an email telling that a brand new device has been connected to this Google account. It will certainly question us if we are the people who have connected that electronic device. Indeed, we must not get worried, simply because the emulator is simulating an Android device. In order to determine which smartphone or tablet is being emulated, we come back here, to the cogwheel and we mouse click on it. Therefore we browse here to the, model, choice. And here we observe that the emulator is emulating a Samsung smartphone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all guys, so much for that tutorial. I hope that you liked it, especially that you thought it was handy. If so, give it a superb thumb up, subscribe, and if you have remarks, concerns or ideas, leave them in the comment field down below. You can even comment things on my Twitch channel, I perform live streams from time to time, you have it listed below in the video description and in the very first pinned comment. Click on any of the video tutorials that are showing up on the screen and let's have fun again in the next video game videos. Bye.